all of her stuff is on this side of the room because we are getting ready to, or I am rather, getting ready to prepare this wall right here. Let me back up because Gabby always wants to model something. I'm going to prepare this wall for a more, my goodness gracious, I cannot talk today. What is wrong with me? Prepare this wall so I can paint a mural. So I'm going to put some pictures up on the screen of the different choices of inspiration. Um, so one of these choices um, I'm going to use for inspiration for this wall. I do not know which one I'm going to choose yet. I thought it would be a funky idea and a good way to get rid of this boring black and white a black and white mural is actually fine within itself but something more dynamic i guess is a good word to use right gabby yeah yeah so that's actually what we are getting ready to work on in her room right now okay so i have decided that i am going to do the black and white um inspired picture mural on her wall i have it blocked out for what i'm going to do and in the area where you see gabby running back and forth right here in the center on both sides this portion is going to be black and this bottom portion is going to be black the top portion is going to remain white and what i'm going to do is do an inversion of that black and white mural so the wall will be white, but the design, I mean, the wall will be black on this side, but the design where Gabby is standing is going to be white. And on the other side is going to be, okay. On the other side is going to be an inversion. So the wall obviously is going to be white, but the design is going to be black. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. So it's going to take a couple days. I'm going to do the trim today. And I'm going to do the mural design tomorrow. So I'm going to extend it all the way to this side where this door is. And um, that is where I think we're going to take it. Be careful, Gabby. So I have it marked off. I know what I'm doing. I have the ideal of this uh, custom paint design. And we are going to move forward. Right, Gabby? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now it is Sunday. This is day two of the mural. I actually have to go pick up an order from Lowe's so I can finish painting this all black. I'm actually going to do two or three coats. Um, this is a fast drying acrylic paint um, by Krylon. In many videos, you've seen me use it before. It's Let me see if I can get zoom in because I'm lazy. Can I zoom in? Can y'all see that bottom? Crayon color max. You probably can't see it, but in any case, that's what I'm using. Um, and the paint pens I'm going to use to do the um, intricate design here and the uh, negative space here and here as well are some color paint pens by, I can't remember, so I'll show them in the next clip, but... It's going to take a couple hours, but this actually will be completed today. The only thing I'm going to do right now before we pick up the Lowe's order is fix the... It doesn't look like there are any mistakes, but I'm going to clean up the mistakes like right here. Because I did all this trim by hand. I'm going to clean up the mistake right here. Um, you know, make the lines more tidy. And then I'll do that one and that tiny corner there. But so far, so good. It's coming together as planned. And again, this little mural for this wall um, will be finished today. Okay, I got what I needed from Lowe's. So a close-up of the paint colors I'm using. I use this to fix all the trim work at the bottom. Um, so you should have been able to see in the last clip where that was kind of messed up. And what I'm going to do to make the design are use these paint markers by Sharpie, actually. They are paint markers. You just have to, um, 
to get them to work, what you do is this one has already been pumped, but usually when you open it, the tip will be white and you just pump it like that for the paint to come out and then it'll fill in the tip. But if you're doing any kind of calligraphy work or custom work and you want something that's easier to use, if you're not used to using a paintbrush, um, you can use this. And even though I'm going to be using these paint markers, um, I'm not doing it with the intention of wanting the design to be perfect because the idea is for the lines to be imperfect. But I got my products. I'm getting ready to do the finish the first layer of black paint on this wall here. And then I will do a second coat and we will move forward with the design work. Are you ready? Yeah. You ready to show the people your new, um, your new knobs? Lead the way to the studio, Gabby. Okay, we following you. We following Gabby. She's going to show you what else we're working on for her room today. We're going to the art studio. Do your famous ta-da, Gabby. <laughs> so I updated instead of getting her new pools because the pools um, on her dresser are of really good quality. Truly, there's nothing wrong with them. So... All I did was spray painted them a black and what I used, oh my finger in the way, what I used, Gabby, you want to hold this to show the people? Okay. What I used was Rust-Oleum High, uh, what does it say, Gabby? Move your hand for a little minute. High Performance Enamel 15 Minute Fast Dry Angle Spray. So that's what was used to turn these black. And once they dry, we'll come back and check on them. We are going to put them back on her dresser. Right, Gabby? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with the white side with these random lines. It's going to take a while. But here we go. Okay, so the wall for the most part is done. I'm going to go ahead and move the bed back. As you can see, I have done the design. I was going to do it on this part as well, and I probably mentioned that in the earlier video, but whoo, I actually think it looks, <laughs> look at Gabby, it looks really freaking cool just as it is by itself. So, and the good thing <laughs> about paint is if you don't like it or if you mess up, you can get a can and paint right over it. So I uh, personally um, like doing something like this better than using a wallpaper for that reason. And even there are some imperfections I can notice. I'm not going to worry too much about fixing those, but the wall for the most part is finished. <laughs> 